Hey folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reuse one map key and loop this map key a couple of times and apply the changes for a couple of components. And how it works? First of all, I will explain to you and then we will try to make some example. So if you will go to 4ksi.com to my web page, you can see here that is the customization and map key generator. If you will select it, the system will load the application. This application is web-based, so everything is stored on my web and right now explanation. We would like to apply the map key from Creo a couple of times for, for a selected component. So what is necessary to do? First of all, it's necessary to create the list of objects. Over here is example, so and you can see here that is possible apply this for the 3D model assembly on the drawing. What does it mean? For example, if you have a list of the drawing and you would like to, for example, 15 drawings export to PDF file, you will create your custom map key and then you will make the list of this drawing and apply changes. So for example, right now, I have a couple of objects. You can add more or yes, of course, you can delete and write your custom or you can create a list how you want. So and so on. Yes. So apply the changes. Please do not use the space. And then you can set your custom keyboard shortcut or you can specify the name or description. For now, quick example, I'd like to show you that if I will specify my custom shortcut, for example, AA, the RM is as the repeatable map key, the shortcut as default, you don't need to change. But if you will select the double A and you will push the generate map key, you can see that system generate the correct name and correct description and so on. And over here is that system will open necessary 3D model, for example, the, this one, and then he will apply the map key 4K and you will close this window and continue to the another model and system will again run the map key 4K. Then you will select the download and we will apply these changes on the model. So let's jump to Creo. We will prepare the map key 4K. Over here in this example, if I will open the Creo, we would like to make some changes on every component what is in this assembly. For example, we will set custom preferences, maybe some parameter. You can add colors or set additional preferences. It's up to you. So what does it mean? I will make and prepare this information on one component. So you can see here that, for example, I will create a map key on this component. If you need to create a new map key, you can use the search functionality and write a map and the system will allow to you the run map key or create map key. I will create new one. As I mentioned, the name is 4K and name you can specify as you want. So for example, properties, or description, you can addition parameter. Yeah, so it's up to you. You can, it will be used only temporary. You don't need to save this one if in future. Because I like to run this utility and then maybe one week later you will create an additional one. So 4K is only temporary and I will record the map key. For example, in this example, I will use the model properties. I would like to change from the millimeter to something different, for example, to inch as the default, and I will set and I will reuse the functionality that system will change millimeter to one inch. If I will come from OK, I can close. And then, for example, we can add the new parameter. So I will change and over here, I will create new param for example, the web and it will be string and for example, 4k sci.com. Yeah, as the example. In future, we would like to designate it for the wind chill so you can mark as designate or another PLM system. Okay, if I will come from OK, my map key need to continue. So sorry, this window is again necessary to move. So I will close and you see that I need to regenerate model and control D as the default orientation because the system shrink the model because and move and then uh, for example i will save model so again i can use the map key save and you can see that for example it's necessary to add some additional information for now it's okay 
and at the end close the window. If I will close the window, I can stop the map key and I can confirm OK. Right now the system asks me if I can reuse the 4K in future. So yes, I like to reuse the 4K. And if I will close the system, remember in the memory. I will open right now the assembly and the assembly is mechanism. And you can see here right now that we have here so many components. And question is how you can create a list on the page. Is description that if you need a list of the create objects from the directory, you can use the simple the command Windows R, the system will run the command prompt and then you can copy this command and the system will create list of direct selected folder and objects. Or you can use directly in Creo. For example, here I'd like to show that again in Creo you can create a list for necessary components. So if I will create new drawing, for example, we can specify our custom size, doesn't matter. And over here is possible to create a table as the repeat region. So we will create a new table and over here I will add the repeat region. Over here if you will leave the mouse for a while, add the repeat region and then is necessary to specify, for example, assembly member name. And we would like to have only one object here, so rptq2i and then rpt index is not necessary, but you can. Yeah. If you will update table, the system will show you. And for example, maybe we can specify the different width. So for example, will be visible like this, some number. And you can see here that right now the number of entities are not visible. So you need to specify repeat region and attributes and specify as the no duplicate level. What does it mean right now? This, you can see only necessary components, what is necessary to check. Simple, you can select the table. If you will use the filter, for example, here, you can select table and save table as the CSV file. CSV file is possible to open in Excel and directly from the Excel is possible to copy necessary information to web application. I have prepared the list based on the command prompt. Yeah. So if you will run Windows R and if you will use the CMD command, the system will open the necessary command prompt and you can switch the folder and then run the command what is written in the page. OK, in the list, what is here, what we need to do is the remove this part. If you use the control H, the system automatically allow to you to replace as the space. So if I will select replace all right now, we have everything as needed. So you can see here that is so many ways how you can simply apply and create a list. And this list is possible to directly copy to web page. So I can select all this one and copy here. Be careful, I don't want to use the space at the end. And PRT.1 is possible to open directly in Creo, so it doesn't matter that it's there. OK, and in default is over here our arm. If you would like to use the something different, it's up to you. So for example, for a quick example, we can reuse the double A. And if I will generate right now the map key or code, you can see that system will create a code for me and I can simply download the file. And if you will download the file, it's possible to directly jump in Creo. And we will close everything. We will erase not displayed. The working directory is set to data. It's fine. And if I will load the downloaded file so I can import and you can see here that system creates for me directly where I want, where I need the necessary configuration file. The map key was generated as AA. So if I will come from OK, and right now it's not necessary to save this file. So simply select double A, AA, and the system will run the map key for every component what was in the list. 
and you can see that you will only wait for a while and the system will open all necessary components and apply changes, properties, colors, new parameters. If you will specify model check, also it's working. Or from the drawing, you can save data as PDF or from assemblies or 3D components, you can save a step file or IGS file. So you can create something like loop or simply to say repeatable map key. I hope so that you like this example and feel free to ask the question if you need more details or if you have another idea how to enhance this utility, leave me a comment on the video. Thank you for the donation, coffee, likes and for the sharing the video. You can see that the system changed everything and for example for the quick check I can open any components and if I will check the model properties will be in inch and if I will check the parameters we can see that web parameter was set and designated as we need. Thank you one more time and have a nice time. Bye bye.